Samsung just lost to Apple. What's up guys, Regulus News. And we are less than one month away from the official release of Samsung Galaxy S23 series. And we just got some bad news about Samsung Galaxy S23 series that is going to make it lose to Apple's iPhone 14 Pro series. Now Samsung has been the king of display in every year in their flagship smartphones. However, that changes last year when Apple released iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max with a peak brightness of 2000 nits. While the peak brightness of Galaxy S23 Ultra was 1750 nits. And we are hearing that Samsung is still going to use the same 15 nits of peak brightness in the Galaxy S23 series. Now it's a bit strange thing because Samsung is the one who provides display for iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max and yet their own flagship smartphone can't support the same brightness as their rivals. Now the most strange thing is that Samsung has showcased a display in CES 2023 in which a UDR display can support a peak brightness of 2000 nits. Now everyone was hoping that Samsung is going to use this display in Galaxy S23 series but now we're hearing that Samsung is still going to stuck with 17 15 nits of peak brightness which is actually downgrade because every other flagship smartphone in 2023 is going to have a peak brightness of almost 2000 nits. The only good news about Galaxy S23 display is that Samsung is finally going to increase the peak brightness of Galaxy S23 and S23 Plus from 1500 nits to 1750 nits, which is actually going to make their non ultra smartphone to match the same peak brightness to their ultra smartphone. And this time we are also hearing that Samsung is going to make one of the biggest changes in the display of Galaxy S23 Ultra. We have been seeing the edge panels in Galaxy S series since Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, but this time Samsung is finally going to drop the edge from Galaxy S23 Ultra. We are hearing that Samsung is going to reduce the edge of the Galaxy S23 Ultra so much that it's almost going to look like that Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is going to have a flat panel. Now it's still going to have edge on its both side but it's going to be reduced so much and the main reason is that it's going to be easier to write with S Pen on Galaxy S23 Ultra and it's also going to make it more durable so it won't be as easily breakable as the previous one with deep edge panels. The main frame of Galaxy S23 Ultra is also going to be more scared of as compared to the download one we have seen in Galaxy S22 Ultra. Even on the display size of Galaxy S23 Ultra and the back camera design is going to be very similar to last year's Galaxy S22 Ultra but still there will be some differences that will be noticeable in Galaxy S23 Ultra as compared to last year's Galaxy S22 Ultra. And now finally we also have our first official pictures of Galaxy S23, S23 Plus and Galaxy S23 Ultra in their beautiful colors. This time Galaxy S23 Ultra is going to come in 4 different colors and white is not going to be one of them. Them. The colors are going to be black, green, peach, and pink color. And the same goes for Galaxy S23 and S23 Plus. There is not going to be any white color, while the official colors are going to be black, green, pink, and beach color. Same as Galaxy S23 Ultra. Other than that, Galaxy S23 Ultra is going to have Gorilla Glass Victor 2, DDR5 RAM, and main 200 megapixel camera with Super HDR, which is going to improve the daylight and low light photography. So let me know what you think about these devices in the comment section below. And if you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out